So in this video today, I'm going to be telling you about my transformation, how I was this cricket player and now I am into bodybuilding. And after this video, you'll know more about me and how my whole transformation has worked and how I am what I am now, you can say. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'm going to be talking you through this whole transformation. So before this video starts, make sure to click the like button, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my Snapchat. So let's begin this video. I have been playing cricket since I was eight years old and literally I started right at the bottom. So. I just worked my way up, so I played at club cricket, then I worked up to county cricket and I was a leg spin bowler. And it's very rare that you will see me praising myself but I'm telling you I was one good bowler. And at a young age I was pretty much unplayable and it's very rare that you will see good leg spinners. So my future was bright in cricket and I'm telling you like I was going up the ranks so I was like under 9s, under 10s, under 11s. I have bowled against the top players in the world. For example I bowled at Sachin Tendulkar, I gave like third downs to Gambit. and So I was going through the ranks from like under 10 to under 11s, under 13s, under 14s and then I was on the Leicestershire Academy. When you are playing with a academy, it's pretty much borderline professional cricket. So you're playing at a very good standard. And while I was on the academy, I was not only playing for Leicestershire, but I was actually playing for my regional. So Nottingham, Leicester, uh, Derby. So I was actually playing for the Midlands. So you can see like I was playing at a very high standard. So while I was on the academy, we were obviously doing the cricket training, but for our gym work, we were given a set program to follow. For example, we were doing squats, pull up, and maybe we would do a bench press and at that time I started looking up to people for example like Ronaldo and these athletes who had these you know physiques which weren't big but they were very very lean so at that time I actually joined a gym and that was a time where you know I started seeing results because in the first year of your training you are gonna make a lot of gains so yes I was still on the academy at Leicester but in my own time, I was doing my own training. So I was doing like bicep curls, triceps, shoulder press, and the things that I wasn't meant to do, I was actually doing. And they didn't realize, they were like, okay, you're doing good. Okay, let's move on to the next year. Now the next year came, I obviously built a little bit of muscle, but they couldn't really tell until someone came up to me at the gym and said, in order for you to actually get more bigger, you need to eat more food. And I used to look up to people at the gym and these guys will be taking protein shakes all the time after they have finished their workout. So I started asking my mom, can you give me like 40 pounds? Can you give me 50 pounds? Because I want to buy this mask in and that's the only way that I'm going to build muscle. And that is what I thought at that time. The only way you are going to build muscle and gain some weight is that if you take mass gainers and these really high calorie shakes. And I was saving my lunch money that I was getting from my parents and spending it on supplements. You know, these mass gainers, pre-workouts and supplements that will help my gym performance. And even lunchtime when people in Maya used to like hang out together, I will just go to the gym. Even in my lessons, I was always going on bodybuilding websites, reading about nutrition, training. And at this point, I was very obsessed about bodybuilding. And that was a time where the academy started realizing me getting more tighter in my shoulder area, me gaining a little bit of body fat, my skin falls were going higher because we would get a skin fall test and that is a test where it tests your body fat. And you know, I was storing a lot of fat on my love handles, on my chest, and on my belly. And they could see I was doing something which is not on the program. And that was a time where I started watching Greg Plitt and he was a huge motivation to me. And he was someone who motivated me to actually now transition into like a lean athlete physique who I wanted to inspire to be like to someone who's more of like a fitness model kind of body. And when I saw that, I was like, whoa, like that is the physique I wanted. And I was still playing cricket. Now, that is the time where you gotta say, okay, what do you do? Do you carry on with this dream of being a cricket player or do you go into something that you may not make a lot of money, 
and it's just going to be more of a hobby you can say so i said hey look i want to start lifting weights and the academy at cricket they kind of realized that i wasn't doing something which is on their program and they decided to release me now it was that point where i don't know if it was good or if it was bad because the dream of me becoming a cricket player is obviously gone a lot more down but on the other side i can now lift whatever I want I can eat whatever the hell I want and from that day when they released me that was a day where I just said hey look I'm gonna gain muscle I did not care what the hell I was eating and for two years straight I was just lifting heavy I was eating whatever the hell I want and people will come up to me and say hey look you need to drop a bit of body fat because you're gaining a little bit too fat but that was a time where I was an absolute beast in the gym I'm lifting a lot of weight and I'm getting bigger and I'm looking better in a t-shirt and in my head I was simply thinking that I'm gaining a lot of muscle here and when I cut I'm gonna look incredible and I'm gonna look like 100 kg of lean muscle and after two years I started working at a gym and I said to myself I can be so much better than this I'm gonna make workout videos and I'm gonna put it on YouTube and I'm just gonna see what happens look I'm not in it for the views or so the subscribers I'm simply just gonna put myself on the internet and it might help like 10 or 15 or 20 people and that will be more than enough and I said to myself I need to now drop a little bit of body fat and I'm now going to transform my physique yeah I know at the minute I'm fat but give me nine months I'm gonna change my body and that was the time where I did my nine month transformation and I said to myself I'm going to change my physique no matter what I don't care if I have a job at the minute and I was still at college at that time I'm going to make time and I'm going to change my physique and I said to myself I'm going to record myself every maybe month or every two months and I'm going to show it after them nine months this is my transformation and from that video I helped so many people change their physique and certain people were inspired from it and after that I still stayed fairly lean I didn't say look I'm now going to do a dirty bulk again and just go back to how I was I stayed fairly lean and it came to a point where I said to myself look people want to change their physique let's say in three months you know nine months can be a little bit long so I said to myself I'm going to gain a little bit of body fat and in 90 days I'm going to change my physique and that was one of my goals and at the end of this transformation I put it on the internet and again it helped so many people and from that I created my own plan which is called the 90 day shredding plan and that is where you will be shredded in 90 days and exactly what I did in my nine month transformation and my 90 day transformation I've put it all in one and in that program is very similar to what I was eating the cardio I was doing literally everything and if any of you guys are interested in joining the 90 day shredding plan make sure to drop me an email and I will give you the complete details of how you can join this program and get shredded in 90 days so that is my transformation and this is how I'm currently looking like and I hope you all can take something away from this video and also you can now learn a little bit more about myself it's not just someone that I was fat and then I got lean there was so much more behind it and you know me playing cricket and coming through the ranks all I needed to do was go one more level up and I would have made cricket as my profession so a hey, cricket or fitness YouTube which one I don't know like I don't know if it was a good idea me not giving cricket my 100% and uh, giving it more to fitness and making content for you guys I don't know so I hope you all have enjoyed this video and you can now know more about Ram Guman because the guy you watch on YouTube has now told his entire story. So again, if you like this video, make sure to leave a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and make sure to turn on my notifications. That will mean every time I upload a video, you will be notified and you will never miss a Ram Guman YouTube video. So I shall see you all in the next video. Peace.